our kids really played very aggressively. I thought they played really hard. I thought we did a very good job defensively. And, and this was a game that we knew we really had to grit it out and find a way. And it wasn't necessarily an offensive performance for us. But these are the games early in the year where we struggled to score that we couldn't win. And, and to our players' credit, now as the season's gone on, they found a way to be much better defensively and put themselves in positions to pull the game out even when our offense isn't exactly where we want it to be. I thought we had stretches where we got very good looks and just missed a lot of them. And then I thought we had stretches under their pressure where we didn't do a good job taking care of the basketball. And I thought we got better at that as the game wore up. So you guys are 11-0, uh, you guys are up at the halftime, and then 2-12 and 12 so far, if you guys aren't. Um, anything to be said about that? I mean, is there any... Well, I think for us, the, the game of basketball is really a game of matchups. And, and typically, you know, when you match up well, you come out and you play pretty well. And if you don't match up very well, it, it can go the other direction. At the same time, it was interesting talking to some of the assistant coaches at Florida Gulf Coast who said, well, you guys are in a lot of close games. I said, every game is close for us. So, you know, we've won some when we've been behind. I think it was East Tennessee. And it was even Mercer. You know, I think some of those were the games that we just struggled early in the season because we weren't where we wanted to be yet. You know, but I don't. We don't make anything out of it. As a matter of fact, I didn't know that they were talking about a winning record. We've never talked about it with them. So you know, obviously they're. You know, they they talk about some of those things that we don't. And and as coaches, we certainly don't talk about that because I I don't know how that helps us. We're just looking at during the course of the game. You know, we, I tell the players, knowledge is power. You need to know how to make adjustments and be prepared to make those adjustments. It's not about rah rah. I'm not going to fire you up and give you a big riveting speech. It's about understanding the game of basketball and how do you make an adjustment when they're they're hurting you on a on a handoff play or on a ball screen play or what else can we do? And I think as the the year has gone on, our players have really done a great job making adjustments on their own. We switched some things tonight during during the game that I had never really seen a switch before in practices. But they're starting to figure it out and, and really take ownership of it. And obviously they took ownership of trying to, to achieve a winning record. So, you know, that's all on them and they're doing a great job with it. Um, not only this season do you all have a winning record, this is your 30th, 30th consecutive season with a winning record. And with your first as your first year as coach, what, how, what do you think about that? What is that like to you? Well, I'm really proud of our players. I told them in the locker room after the game that, that the last two games have really been, actually the last three games, we, we, we were successful at Mercer and then at Kennesaw and then here tonight. And really offensively, we weren't necessarily, in the Mercer game we played probably a little bit better offensively, but some of that has to do with styles of play and, and, and we had Tierra Hopper played out of her mind in that game. She really, really played well for us. In the last two games, we really haven't scored how we wanted to score. You know, at the same time, our kids have, have really been, I think, defensive-minded demons in some way, shape, and form, and, and really have found a way to be successful. And, and I give them, I'm give i really proud of them because, you know what, if that continues for them, if they understand the toughness level that that takes, they're going to go a long way. It's not necessarily basketball players, but as young ladies and, and on into their future. So I'm really proud of them for that. And then, Rihanna, what was the key for your game tonight? I noticed you, I think you played 30-some minutes. Uh, at some point, the coach really, really went to you and relied upon you. What was the key for you tonight? What made you have such a good game? And I just know it's my responsibility to get the ball and find the open player. And so that's what I focus on when I'm on the floor. And I'm really blessed to play the minutes I do, and I'm so thankful for it. And so I just try to make the most of it and do what I need to do. To also, been relying on freshmen a lot this year. Can you right. talk about the impact that uh, Rihanna and Christina have? Well, I, I, certainly those two did a great job scoring for us, or scoring for us in this game. Uh, but really, our, our very good defensive players, we rely on them a great deal to to bring the ball up, to handle it under pressure, to hit shots, um, and, and to defense defensively guard the other team's point guard or one of their key perimeter kids. In, in this league, what we've found so far is that the players that we're playing against are very, very athletic, and they can shoot it. So, we our players have had to find a way to extend where maybe their comfort level is, and, and I think Rand and Christine have both done a, a great job of that, of getting out of their comfort zone and, and getting out and pressuring kids, even though they might not be as quick as they are, they're finding ways to cut them off and, and then challenge a pull-up jump shot as well. I thought there was a stretch in this game where the, you know North Florida was hitting 15-foot shots. You know, and that's tough. You're asking them to take away an arc shot. You're asking them to pressure the pass inside. You're asking them to cut them off, and then when they elevate the shoot, go tip it. You know, so as the season has gone on, they've continued to improve, and, and they're going to need to for the rest of, of their careers. And certainly, as as we we lose three starters off of this team in the future, so they're going to have to continue to get better. But they've been very coachable, and they work really hard. And so our work and coachability, I guess, pay off a little bit.